so in this video I wanted to talk about a brand new construction called the Constructed Extreme Point. This feature was introduced in version 2021.2 and was in response to a feature request in the Idea Center. So if you like these videos and some of the tutorials I've produced in the past, just a reminder that I'm still actually an instructor at CMMXYZ and teach PC Demons classes all the time, remotely, in our classroom, or at your facility. So when you get a chance, um, head on over to our website and go to the training section and check out all the courses that we offer. Okay, so back to this video. Um, so in the past, if we wanted to extract the high point of a 3D surface, we really only had a couple of options. Uh, we could use the high point auto feature, but uh, that was not the easiest feature to work with. And I, to be honest, I was not a big fan of this. It was cumbersome to set up and, uh, you know, to arrange the, the boundaries and things like that. The other option was to extract out the high point using carefully constructed variables and arrays. Um, so I actually made a video about this a while back, but with the new constructed extreme point, um, these old methods are all but obsolete. So let's take a look at my program um, here that I've written. So I'll just zoom in a bit. And you can see it's just basically like four humps. And what I wanted to do was um, just extract out the high point on each of those little mounds. So what I've done ahead of time was I've created uh, four scans. So these are grid scans. So each grid scan will have 100 points. And what I want to do is extract out the high point in, in this case, the Z axis. So the way the constructed extreme point works, so let's just open that up. And when you go to the method for constructed point, you can see over the years they've really added to this list. There's, so there's quite a few options here. So the last one is the newest one, the extreme point. So I'll pick that. I'll pick the scan I want first, scan one. And up here you can see we have a few options. We can uh, select max or minimum. And then we can select the axis direction. And in my case, that's all I want to do. So I'll just select Z plus. And in, for this coordinate system, because it, it's kind of upside down, Z is pointing down. So I'll, I'll choose uh, Z minimum in this case so that should extract out a point on the top here and we'll just call it point one and hit create so there it is there so let's zoom in and take a look yeah so you can see it there so that is on the top of that um, that little mound there and then i would just do the the same for the rest keeping those same settings so pick scan two create um three create and so forth so there we go so Whatever you wanted to do with these points, you could use those as like, you know, points for an iterative alignment, uh, datum target points. So whatever you needed to do, the point is it's just so easy to extract out these high points as compared to the past. And I was really happy to see that they've included this in 2021.2. Okay, so that's about it for this video. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.